Hello everyone, I am Ashi Williams. Welcome to Seat News Network. I'm here live for all of you to talk about uh, a few instances in the VTV scene and the internet. Was that I all this? Let's get on with the news. We want to have this short brief. We want to have a little bit of a serious talk. And then we're going to end it off with a little bit of a hilarious antics on behalf of Concord. Let's begin. So first, in the state of Texas, there was a law passed, Bill 108. This ended up protecting adult industry entertainment, you know, such as erotic nature. We can see you this here at see Next Gen. Obviously, being a good thing, for other websites such as YouTube, Twitter slash ads, and um, Twitch.tv, if done appropriately. Let's get started. What is Bill 181? 181. After the Supreme Court requested the the request of adult entertainment industry blocked in the state of Texas New Age Verification Law. On April 20, 28th and April 2024, Texas officials were granted permission to enforce a House Bill of 1181, the new Texas law preventing age verification. Pertaining the age verification requirements, drive through with gold, preventing minors to access sexual material, outlines of the several requirements for adult content websites. On the top of this, there are several cities and several health warnings. Installing pornographic addiction in parodies and mental developments to increase the man and child sexual abuse and images among other things. We don't see this as a bad thing. As a matter of fact, a person exploring their uh, sexual Exploitation at a proper age should always be allowed as long as after the age of 13, I will say, and for girls at least after the age of 15 or 16. The state should not have permission to do that. But we will have to say it would be better off going towards sites such as YouTube, Twitter, Flash X, Facebook. Twitch.tv, obviously to protect uh, content creators from mere children engaging their content. A digital advertisement performed by the website itself for a commercial age verification system verifies the age of using a government-issued or, or identification. This means you need a driver's license or an ID. A commercial responsible method that relies on public or private friends or all data to verify the age of the individual. This can easily be stopped by a VPN. Obviously, it costs money, but a good VPN is always very good. So far, the regulation of law has verified some adult content websites to hold operations in Texas, such as. Fantasy impairments, verification, understand requirements, take a look at the two options of identification, age simulation, obviously showing your actual face, with an age, with an ID age verification. They have not covered every website, but basically, this is what is needed to you, like, do with this. If it fails to comply with the bill, I don't know what to tell you. If they think this bill is going to affect all, you know, porn websites, I'm sad to say that y'all are ignorant. There's so many of them, and they keep coming out one by another. But despite all this, it is not a Texas fault. Not knowing how many websites there are and how numerous, 
and how NordVPN or VPN in general, that we are not sponsored by any of them. They can easily bypass this feature. It's not our fault the government is such a failure on planet Earth. Let's go to Concord's drama. As this one is worth taking a look at Concord failures. I would love to do something on behalf of the commander what he does about these board meaning thingies. Uh, the board meaning thingies he does ends up covering the overall. You know, that thing about how they make a decision. So, I would like to imagine at least four people and the main owner of Concord's business had a meeting. And they were talking pretty big. And they were probably asking, what do you think about all uh, making original characters after the fall of Overwatch? They go, we're not artists, so how do we go about it? One goes like, why don't we ask a whole bunch of teenagers on how to overall make the characters? One will go, no, 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 that's too complicated, they're too high demanding. How about we go with little kids, you know, some tinder gardens, or a camp of some sort. They go, oh, Mrs. Orgos, I like that idea, so why don't we go over to the local orphanage? And I asked the whole bunch of kindergartner orphan and age kids on what they would want to see in a video game. So let's take a look at some of these characters. This one is called One Off. It looks like somebody just drew a whole bunch of PVC pipes in an orphanage and just said, Robot. Why is that accurate? Bliss. This looks like somebody that a pimp would sell out. Oh. No joke, no scam. This looks like a woman that a pimp would sell out. This says a lot, really. The design is so bland. I mean, the purple hair does an offset with the red cloak, with the white and blue. And the jacket's like design is just atrocious and the goggles. I mean the glasses What are those? This definitely looks like some hands head like overall like woman. Dove ears. Okay, so it looks like somebody in the orphanage was playing with one of those sets that obviously he goes like where would the square go? And they would put the square in the square hole. And they said, and what it says, where does the cylinder go? They would put the cylinder in the square hole. Where does the half cylinder go? Goes in the square holes where they would put it. This type of kid literally goes like, me next. Draws someone in a brick helmet and goes, Magic, the water maker. This one looks like the kid and that is literally ate too many lunches, bullies everybody on the playground, and go like, me next. Ends up drawing himself onto the art. A little girl draws a picture and goes like, This is my grandma. I love grandma in the game. Okay, so this one. I'm full aware of this one. Uh, Imari. This does not look like a juggernaut. This looks like one of those, like, new mothers. Or, like, people in general. That has a self-made protection suit in their own house. Well, the house is completely covered in bubble wrap. So wearing a safety suit with the entire house covered in bubble wrap and afraid merely bumping into a corner would literally break every bone in their body. 
this is not a juggernaut. This is just like someone that is rightly fearful of pain and agony in a safety suit. That is a horrible design. I mean, I'm myself in a, in a bit of an Asian, but uh, uh, somebody drew a picture and uh, a Halloween witch and got uh, this magic lady, garb magic lady, is what I get from vibes in this art. And the outfit is okay. I'm offended by the face. Where's the cleavage? The hands are beautiful. The face is atrocious. The hair's nice. But the hair can use a little bit more color. I mean, the whole thing this strains no personality. So far, we got cute designs and designs with no personality so far. And lacking their proper color or design. Okay, so they just literally put their pet iguana in the orphanage on like the uh, the piece of paper and said alien. Like no joke, no stamp. This literally just looks like somebody put a pet iguana on on the piece of paper and said alien. Pimp, pimp, pimp. Straight up pimp, pimp master right here. This is a pimp. From the hat, to the suit, to the gun, to or the gloves, to the style. Pimp, 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 pimp ward, pimp ward alert, pimp ward alert. Is this a robot? This, and it's a female robot. Where's the booba? Where's the cleavage? Then you would have given some like robotic hair design. Knock off that mini shit as much. Dick, this is a part excuse for a re-robot. For Mega Man Legends. I've at least played Legends. And like I've seen some of the re-robots. This is just a part excuse of a re-robot. Like a humanoid re-robot. Like Reptile even, like, a poor stoops of a reptile, like, you gotta be kidding me. What? Okay, what is this? Lark. Lark. I... What is this? What is this supposed to be? I don't know why. But is this coral? Is this a fungus? A fungi? A, an undersea plant? What am I looking at here? So, like a thing of volcanic glass? I... This is stupid. Linux. Okay, so let's say somebody took the group and then took, like, obviously from Guardians of the Galaxy, like that one um, pirate with the one with the arrow that literally all he has to do is whistle and the arrow flies about. And he, they put them together and made this. I, I, I'm sorry, um, like, this is a, this is a Marvel copyright lawsuit just waiting to happen. And the color palette is so bland. I mean, the orange and the blue kind of work. But when you combine it with the skin color, it just looks so unoriginal. I mean, look at me. I mean, I got the purple, I got the pink, I got the blue, I got the white, 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 slash blue maester. Uh, when you make a character, you gotta go with what would work with it. Like, obviously, 
I'm a person that controls things on the psychic plane, right? Physical, mental, or spiritual, astral, and digital planes of existence with my psychic powers. And I'm also, I'm not going to lie, I come off a bit of soccerish and obsessive from time to time. Especially when it comes to Devin, uh, I really got to get over that. But at the same time, when you make a character, it just can't be as bland as some of these. When you're really making a character, you got to work off the personality, the traits, and then you put it into like an art design. This is just lazy work. Why am I looking at a, a female soldier 76 with no booba? Okay, so what we got here looks like we got Soldier 76 mixed with um, Doom Guy. And of course, like Doom Guy, Soldier 76, and Master Chief with a rocket launcher. Roka. Roka is definitely Roke. Somebody put a, somebody make her croak. Uh, Star Child. Uh, are you kidding me? Star Child. Well, you do know that's a DC character, Star Child, right? Uh, the name let alone is copyright infringement. And then you say in the design. Oh, why does this look like somebody mixed the Hulk with Doomsday? And what, like that one character from Doomsday. No, no, take that back, Chewbacca. They really put Chewbacca, the Hulk, and, um, you know, like, what? <laughs> Dark Specter. No, that's Dark Specter. I'm trying to think of that one character. Um,. I'm Superman's main villain. You know who he is. Amanda recently we watched the death battle a while back. Uh, but... Oh, wait a minute. He hasn't watched that. <gasps> Oopsie. I, I, I didn't use it, Commander. But I, no, like, so this definitely looks like condemnation of... My Superman's, like, modern villain. Chewbacca and the Hulk. Just... Nash all together as one. And they called it Star Child. Marvel, DC, and Star Wars all smashed together as one. Why? Teo. Okay, now this is a Soldier 76 knockoff. This looks like the combination between the Scout of DM2. Um, Soldier 76, all along with just like an Exo Squad member from the cartoon show Exo Squad, and you gave him a machine gun. Uh, I, I'm sorry. Wait a minute, I can do better. It looks like one of the those people that will wear the outfit from Gladiators from the 90s TV show. Toronto Death Show. Like Gladiators? Just looks like one of those Gladiator workout uh, opponents, you know? Like one of those Gladiator opponents from Gladiator. Uh, Veil? Looks like she's a sniper. I mean, she has the body of the sniper. She comes out like a desert sniper, really. You know, with scratch that. She looks like a character for on um, the Star Wars planet where Luke Skywalker's grandparents are from. Oh, Larry, this is just like... Uh, why... That's all the characters? Well, we have Star Wars, Overwatch, Exo Squad, Marvel vs. DC, Doom, 
Like, I don't know what the heck this is. Uh, knock off, Mega Man. Well, not even knock off. I would have to say just how on General Dollar Store or Mega Man character. Pants. Iguana. Overtack, like, just... You're scared of everything. Grandmas. Kindergarten character designs from Comcord. That's not odd uh, creativity. This is just stupidity. No wonder why the gang are you ass in less than four days. How droll. How drab. How boring. I thought this stream was going to go longer on than this. I I'm just disappointed, cadets. I'm so disappointed that we want this to be a two hour live stream. But now we look at now what we've done. And it was such a fast pace. I, I, I need to drink the rest of my boba uh, drink. Boba drink in. Why did I get them five times extra large boba drink? I don't know. Well, I have been Ashi from the Seed News Network. This is obviously my pet doggy. Say hi there, Richard. Uh, Richard's shy. Thank you for joining me for my new ooh, set up the Seed News Network. I've been Ashi Williams. Until next time. We will I'll see y'all on the next planet. And later on today, the commander will be here with Final Fantasy VIII Game 20, Breaking Dark 4, Wall of Den. Is that even here the end of it from Sid Primer? And tomorrow will be Resident Evil gameplay, along with early in the morning. Around 12, the commander will finally react to the five next death battles. On his list will be top 30, and this will be finally the top 5 dead battles he hasn't reacted to. I've been Oshie Williams. And this Seed News Network has come to a close. Let me know. We are not crooks. We are heroes. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Bye-bye.